So at this point on my channel, I have done a ton of reviews. I've done reviews for products, I've done reviews for fragrances, and I do haul reviews, try on hauls, where I try on clothing that companies have sent me. I've worked with a bunch and I usually only bring brands that I like onto my channel because I want you guys to get the best deal for your money always. That was the purpose of me starting this YouTube channel. It was to be a resource for people. It was to kind of bring back that old school feel of YouTube where people used to be honest about stuff and try things on and tell you if it was worth it or not. I wanted to be that. I wanted that on my channel. I realized that some brands will look at your content and think that they can take advantage of your nature and the way that you present things on your platforms. And <laughs> y'all, from the get-go with this brand, Micah's, Mika's, I should have known that it was going to be nonsense. Uh, and that's saying it nicely because I actually want to say something else, but I'll let you fill in the gap. Just thinking about what to talk about in this video and like how to present this, I had to sit down with myself for a minute and just take notes. So I'm gonna be reading off of my phone because from start to finish, this has been probably like the biggest time waster ever. But on top of all of that, I just wanted to make a point on my channel and reiterate that point. So I'm just going to get into it. Let's talk. So this brand, um, Mika's, Mika's, reached out, saw my videos, liked the way that I did my stuff, asked me if I was interested in doing a haul. I've seen, I don't know if it's just me, but I've seen on my Instagram this brand pop up a bunch of times in random advertisements amongst other Instagram boutiques and, and things of the sort. And I was interested. I thought, okay, well, if we could do a collab together and I could pick a few pieces, like curated pieces for my audience, I could see the quality and maybe this could be a brand that I could recommend to you guys because I found other brands in the same way and I've recommended them to you because they were of quality. So. Initially, I agreed to do this collaboration and I told them that I typically do haul style videos so it would be nice to pick a few things from their brand that I could then, you know, touch and maybe make outfits out of and bring it to you guys. And the representative that I was speaking to um, told me that I could only have, at first she said two items for a haul, guys. Two items. And then she said, three to two, two to three items and then on top of that she gave me a budget so like those three items that i would that i would be able to choose from had to amount in like a certain dollar amount and i've never ever had a brand tell me that i had to stay within a budget if they want me to review their products two to three items is not enough for a haul and especially not enough items to bring you the descriptive hauls that I like to bring to my channel. I like to talk about every aspect of a piece of clothing, the fabric, the way that it's stitched, the way that it sits on my body, if it's comfortable. And I can't tell you if a brand is good enough based on two to three items. Like, that's just not gonna work. Other brands that I've worked with have sent me eight to ten items, which I think it's a decent haul. It gives me the chance to touch things from different collections, whether it be new or old. And then I can assess the brand as a whole and really tell you guys if there's like consistency in their quality from season to season and collection to collection. Two to three items is not going to give me that angle to be able to give you guys a real review. So I actually declined the review and I told them straight up that two to three items was not enough. And I think I shared that on my Twitter with you guys um, when I was going back and forth with this brand. And a lot of people were like, oh, good for you for knowing your worth. And you know, it was beyond that. It was really more so I wouldn't be able to give you guys a real review off of two to three items, you know? So, but I did appreciate the really positive feedback. As soon as I rejected their offer, the person that I was in touch with immediately was like, okay, okay, we'll send you more items. And will up your budget a little bit which it's just so ridiculous like it's so ridiculous they gave me a hundred dollars mind you a lot of their items for the quality which i'm gonna get into are overpriced i'm just gonna straight up say it it's overpriced for what they're offering and to be able to curate a haul on a limited budget was 
almost impossible for me. I wanted to put items together to make outfits for you guys. I wanted to try a few different things, but that brings me on to the next issue after they changed their minds. They didn't allow me to have full access to their current collection. What they sent me was a link to, was like a curated influencer collection, which I don't even think I saw on the site. They sent me the link to this curated collection and the items in that collection were not even cohesive. They were like a bunch of random things and they were like, okay, you can pick five things from this for your haul. And unfortunately for me, I mean, Right now I happen to be wearing color, <laughs> but this is very rare for me. And majority of the time I don't wear color. And a lot of the things on this influencer collection were not in my style, not in my aesthetic. And you guys know I'm a very neutral girly, like minimalist style. This was not reflective of the things that I would personally bring to my channel. So that was another issue that I had. And it was really telling to me that they had this specific list of what they wanted people to review because what it says to me is that you're hiding something. With other brands that I've reviewed clothing wise, they gave me full freedom to pick anything from the site. And so I was able to really get a feel for the brand. But when you're telling me I only have these things to choose from and you're putting me in this box, especially with things that I'm really not interested in and I don't think you guys would be interested in, it kind of like makes me give you the side eye a little bit because it's like, why won't you let me pick from anything else on the site. And from what I observed, they did have some stuff on the site that I felt like you guys might have been interested in. But again, I can't review that and I can't speak on that because for all I know, it could look really good on the site, like some of the pieces that I picked up, but then when you receive it, the quality is just trash. I went along with it. I picked my five items. Um, I tried my best to make an outfit. Unfortunately, one of the items that I picked up, it's a top, which happens to be, I think, the only thing of quality in my haul. It looked like a different color on the site. So now that I was trying to put an outfit together, it doesn't really go. So that outfit just doesn't work. So after we agreed with the items, they had it sent out to me. They sent me the tracking number and the invoice, just, you know, confirming all the items and the sizes, which I'm also going to get into sizes. And the person that I spoke to then decided to send me all these YouTube guidelines in a document and guys, <laughs> I have never seen anything like this ever. Um, these YouTube guidelines that were sent to me was basically like a time stamped breakdown of everything they wanted me to do, to say, how long they wanted me to do it, how long they wanted me to talk about a certain topic, keeping everything positive. Basically they gave me a script. <laughs> That's what they sent me. They gave me a script and told me everything they wanted me to do and say by the timestamp. Like, I have never seen that in my life. Like, ever, ever, ever. I've done so many of these reviews and I've never been sent a script. And I straight up told the person that sent me that, the person I was in communications with, that I was absolutely not going to be following that script. I also told her, I don't know why you would send me that after we already gone through with all of these items because if that's what you're expecting from me, you're not gonna get it. And um, when you send me these items, you know, if you don't want me to have them, you can take it back because I'm, I'm telling you straight up, that's not how I roll on this channel. Like that, we're not doing that. I'm doing a review for you, not an advertisement. And that's what I said verbatim. I'm not following your script. Like that's just not happening. Um, they wanted me to show you guys that the stuff came in this pink bag. They were very specific about me showing that the bag was pink. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Um, I will say the packaging was fine. Everything came in these kinds of slips from them. Everything was packaged fine. The shipping itself, they shipped it through like a third party shipper. So again, it took over a month and then there was an issue with the delivery and they sent it back to the warehouse and then I had to get in contact with somebody and have it sent back to me and it was a nightmare. So I can only imagine, you know, they're sending these things to me as a content creator. I can only imagine the frustration if you were somebody shopping with them and you were trying to get your outfits in before your vacation or whatever and that ended up happening because of the person that they're using to ship these items. It was a nightmare. Um, so yeah, it took over a month. Well, actually it took about a month to get to me. Honestly, 
it wasn't really worth it. So typically when I do clothing hauls and reviews, I have like a try on cam where I will try things on and I'll model it for you guys to see while I'm speaking about the items. But I have to say I tried on uh, one of the dresses that they sent me and the quality of the dress, it's so thin. I could see my undergarments under this dress and that's an issue for me. For the price that they're asking for for this dress on the site, that's an issue for me. And then also I followed the size guide that they had on their website and I'd say two of the items were just too small and uncomfortably so. Even though I followed their size guide, um, I think they might be in Chinese sizes because it wasn't totally accurate. So, but this dress, um, I wanted to try it on. I wanted to be excited about it, but I could see my undergarments through it. So I don't feel comfortable wearing that on camera. And then there was another dress that I chose and the quality is just not up to par. It's not up to par. For what they're asking for, um, the fabric is just, it's thin, it's thin fabric. It doesn't feel of quality. Like I feel like I could get a few wears out of this and then it's just not gonna be good anymore. And I would like to have my clothes season to season. And yeah, and again, sizing was off. So again, I feel like the only good item that I received was this top. It's like an off shoulder top. It's this kind of boho style to it. I did like the way that the fabric felt on this one. It was lined, so nothing is see-through. They, they have like a, a lined inner part of the shirt. And yeah, it's it's cute, Um, but it's not really my style. I mean, it's something that I could see myself maybe trying because of the color, but um, other than that, top feels like something I would give to like my younger sister. Like this is definitely more of like a Gen Z thing than my my age. Like I think I'm a little bit past that. This was a wrap skirt and on the site, this green top was very vibrant looking. So I thought that I could pair this top with this wrap skirt, but this is like an olive green in person and not like a vibrant green. So I wanted to pair up the vibrancy of that green with the green that's on this wrap skirt. Wrap skirt itself, the quality again is very thin. Um, not the best quality. Finally, this dress, I found that this dress was actually kind of cute. Um, even though again, this is way too colorful for me. I feel like this would be nice on a vacation though, maybe for like a dinner. But again, it is thin, like it's thin. Thin. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. The shadow, like I could see my hand. I can see my hand through the fabric. It's just not good. It's just not of quality. It's just not something that I would recommend. And I'm sorry to say that, but at the same time, I'm not because for all the trouble that it was worth, like all the trouble that I went through going back and forth with the representative and not being able to choose things for you guys that I think you would like, being put on a budget, being told what to say on a video. I just, I cannot, I, I've, <laughs> I'm so baffled by this because this has just been such a negative experience and I don't want it to be all negative. Like I'm trying so hard to find the positive in this and there's just none. I looked on YouTube to see if there were any other creators that were reviewing this brand. And guys, I kid you not, when you look this brand up, I'm not the only one that feels this way and I'm not the only one that was treated like this. And I wish I did a little bit of research before agreeing to doing anything with this brand because then I would have seen from the get-go that this is not like they're not new to this they're true to this and it's been like years of the same brand you can you can look it up like I'm not the only one um and what also got me was I actually know somebody else that was reached out to by the same brand and she happens to be a content creator of a different hue than me if you catch my drift and she was not given a budget for the item she was able to choose versus some of the other content creators that do have happen to have my hue and they were all given budgets. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't want to be accusatory, but I'm just saying I happen to know somebody who was reached out to by the same brand and it was not the same experience. So 
take with that what you will guys um i have nothing else to say about this brand but what i do have to say is i'm going to stand 10 toes down i'm going to stand on business always and just because and i'll say this a million times i feel like i always say this but i'm gonna keep saying this just because a brand sends me something for free does not mean I'm going to throw all my morals out of the window and straight up lie to you guys and tell you, yeah, it's great, you should buy it, yeah. If I don't like it, I'm gonna tell you I don't like it. This is my YouTube channel. You guys come to me to hear my honest reviews. You guys look to me for my honesty. You guys look to me to find brands that you can add to your wardrobe. You guys look to me for a discount because I always get a discount. They gave me a discount code for them, but I'm not even gonna share it because I don't want you guys to spend your money on something that I don't even, I can't, I can't stand by this. Like, I just can't. I can't. I would feel terrible if I told you guys to spend your hard earned money, the money that you go to work for every day on something like this, point blank period. Like, we're not doing that. So I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> I have some other reviews I'm gonna do soon, guys. And hopefully they're a lot better than this. I'm sure they will be. This was a shit show. Like, <laughs> straight up, like this. <sighs> Y'all, okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> my boyfriend is on the sidelines making faces. I can't, I'm trying to be serious with you guys and he's like not helping. But anyways, I'm through talking here. I hope in the next video that we have something more fun and cuter to try on and talk about because this was just, it's a no from me, okay? It's just, I'm sorry, it's a no from me. So I'll see you guys in my next video and yeah, bye. <laughs> Oh, what a mess. <laughs>